hello everyone today I'm going to show you how to test or to conduct a reliability test of your research instruments and we are going to see two external validity tests of for the research instruments so we have uh, the first test which is uh, the test and retest uh, option to test validity that is you submit your research instruments at one time and you wait for uh, an interval and then you uh, submit your questionnaire or research instrument or at another time and then you compare the results obtained from uh, the first uh, uh, point in time and the second point of time and the second uh, method which is inter-rater reliability which means that there are two raters or more who uh, for example assist students level and give them scores so this is how to enter the data you put the subject id and you leave it like this blank and in the measure you can put ordinal or nominal it doesn't matter then we have test uh, and retest so you put test and you give it scale measure and you put retest and you give it uh, also scale measure in the variable view so once you have this, you are going to enter data in the, the ID, that is the ID of the respondents or the sample, test and retest. So each uh, respondent should be the same in the test and retest. You should remember this. So we are going to put the values as you can see. So this is uh, an application or a software that I would like to see whether it is uh, consistent or not so you, um, just you can see the visually that it's more or less it's 100 percent uh, consistent but we are want to scientifically prove this by correlation so we are going to go to analyze uh, then go to scale and the drop down menu and we go to re reliability analysis and we are going to drop to drag and drop these two variables in items and go to statistics and we can uh, check this item scale means variations or correlations but the most important thing we could check just correlations or more or less and the interclass correlation coefficient so in this window we are going to choose we have two way mixed two way random and one way random uh, one way random it means whether the uh, subjects or the uh, inter-rater or the raters vary two-way random means both vary but two-way mixed which means that one is fixed whereas the other varies so the, in, uh, the raters the, the tool is fixed but the respondents vary in some way so we're going to choose two-way mixed and then uh, there are there is con in this type we have consistency and absolute agreement so we're going to choose the uh, absolute agreement because consistency so there may be variations but with, uh, if the, that variation is consistent it will show you good results so we want to see absolute agreement which means we need to have exact values then we click continue and click ok and then we have this table and you can see that the correlation here so you can see a single measure and average measures we have one one this uh, value is a perfect correlation so starting from uh, point six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 so these are all uh, good uh, values as you can see so you can copy this table and paste it to your research paper and write commentary on it and if you have questions, do not hesitate to post them below. See you in another video.